Hi and welcome back. So in the last tutorial we created this little box. In this tutorial I'm going to show you how to smooth things up, put these, these fillets on here, make these edges nice and rounded um, and pretty the box up a bit. Before I do though I'll just quickly show you um, recap something I was talking about last time and that is over here in the combo view uh, I mentioned that you could make the origin disappear by or reappear by clicking on it highlighting it and then tapping the spacebar or you can do that with all of these other items as well so if I click that pocket for example you'll notice that this original pocket here the, the final one has been grayed out so it's been made invisible and this pocket, which was invisible before, is now visible. So we're, we've effectively moved backwards in time a little bit to you know, the beginning of, of the operations that we did. And we can just highlight and tap the space bar, and it takes us backward and forward. So I'm going to start putting some fillets on here. And to do that, I'm going to highlight one of the edges that I want to fillet. And then I'm going to tap the fillet command. And as you can see, that creates a fillet on there. I'll make that two millimeters. Now I want to add, I want to fillet these other edges as here as well. So that one there, and that one there, and this one in here, and, and pretty much all the way around the box. What I could do is create an individual fillet command for each one of those edges. But it's a lot easier to just come in here, click add, and now I can add those edges to the list of fillets. And you can see over here the, the uh, edges have been added to this list. As I click them they get added. So I'll just add a few more. And then, oh, I've got a problem. I've got a face added into that list as well. This one here. Didn't want that there. So I can simply come up here and cl click remove and then click on that face and that removes it from the list. But now if I tap on any of these others, it'll remove them as well. We want to go back to add and you can see that the remove button is sort of highlighted here. If I click add, now the add button is pressed I guess you could say. Alright, so we'll add these other edges in. And you can see over here that as I'm adding, clicking on these edges, they're being added to that list. And it can be quite difficult to pick that edge sometimes. I've just picked that face again, which I didn't want to do. So what you can do is just zoom in and that'll, that'll get it. So I'll add that one and add that one. Alrighty, I think that's it. I've got all of those ones there. I've got all of those ones there. I've got all of those ones there. And I should have all of those ones there. Yes, I do. Alright, click OK. And let's put all those fillets in. Now, I want to fillet this edge here between these two faces. So I can do that. I can either pick that edge, put a fillet on it, or I can actually pick that face and put a fillet on that as well. In this case, it's exactly the same thing. So there we go. Done. So we've got two fillets. Now, because I've got two fillet commands here, I can make these different um, radii. I can make that three or four millimeters if I like. I'm going to make it two. And I can either click these up and down arrows here to change the uh, the diameter, or the radius should I say, or I can come in here and just type in a number. So I'll make that 2.5mm for example. Or I can come back and just change it. This is this goes back to what I was saying about it being parametric, this being parametric. Um, because they those fillets are, are defined by this radius and this list of objects 
you can come back at any time and add other objects in if you like uh, and you can change the radius so I'll just leave that for a moment so there's our internal fillets all done I'm going to put some external fillets around here as well and I want those fillets to be on the same center as these ones here so that's a two millimeter fillet a two millimeter thick wall that means that these fillets here are going to be four millimeters so I'll just pick that edge come up here to the fillet tool again and I'll make that four and that looks pretty nice so now I'll just add those other edges in just like this and there we go now it's just a, a, a quick note if you click any of these tools without first highlighting um, an edge or a face that you want to, to fill it it doesn't know what you want to do so you have to highlight that for it first you can actually fill it the entire it actually turns out you can't all right so now that's almost done I've got to put a chamfer around this bottom edge here so I'll just do that so click on that edge come up here to the chamfer tool that puts a chamfer on there I'm going to make that two millimeters as well there we go that looks quite nice all right so our box is, our box is nearly done we've got the well, at least the base of the box is nearly done we've got a nice chamfer there those external fillets are in the external the internal fillets are in and yeah that's looking nice but we need to put some holes in these pillars for our screws that are going to hold the lid on so I'm going to click on that surface there click on the sketcher tool and then I'm going to put a circle in there now I can make this circle any diameter I'll just make it I'll make a big just just for illustrative purposes now I want that to be in from these edges so I'm going to use that edge tool again just like that and then I'm going to set these distances using the vertical distance tool I'm going to make that three millimeters and that one three millimeters all right so now we've got a circle there if I have that highlighted as it is and then click hole the hole tool and this is a little bit annoying that this panel is always too narrow for the hole tool task pane maybe that'll get fixed in a future version I don't know all right so we've got a hole there and at the moment it's just arbitrarily put a six millimeter diameter hole 25 millimeters deep in there it's not what I want so I need to tell it what I want so the first thing I want to do is I want to make this an ISO regular profile and I'm going to make it threaded it's going to be a right hand thread and I'm going to make that an M3 so it's a three millimeter thread you can set the class here as well uh, and for general purposes 4G is fine um, the class simply refers to the the tolerance of, of the fit between the screw and the hole and if you have a very tight tolerance um, those screws will um, hold a lot better but for most things we don't need to worry about that now we can make the depth through all as we did as we saw last time so that cuts a hole all the way through or we can make it a dimension I'm going to make it a dimension and I'm going to make it 10 millimeters deep we also have here some options for um, the type of hole so we can have a counterboard hole which puts a counterboard in there we can have a counter sunk hole but for now for this particular part I don't need any of those things I just want it as a plain hole I also set the if we just have a bit of a look down inside that hole you can see that bottom is conical we can set it to be flat or we can set it to be angled now on a 3d printed box 
really doesn't make any difference. Making it flat might actually take a, a little bit less time to print. I don't know. Um, but I'm going to make an angle because in the real, in the old school world of drilling holes with drill bits, you have an angled bottom. So that's all right. That's uh, done. And we'll just click OK. So there's our hole. I want other holes here. So what I could do is I could go and do the same thing all over again. Create a sketch here, a sketch here, a sketch here, and then put holes in all those columns. Or I can modify this sketch. And what I can do here is put multiple circles in the in the hole sketch and that puts all of these hole puts all these holes where the circles were. I'd better go and define the distances there. So first I'll just use my edge tool again. I just get all of these edges. And then I'll just simply define these distances. Now, as I did last time, one of the things I could do here is to put some construction lines on here. Dimension the construction lines to be um, the appropriate distance away from the edge of the box and then constrain these center points of these um, circles to be on those construction lines. Don't have to do that. I'm not going to do it this time. Because I'm nearly finished anyway. All right. So there we go. They're all fully defined, but you'll notice that these lines are still white and it's because I haven't given them a diameter. Truth of the matter is I don't need to. That sketch doesn't need to be fully confined, defined because all we're interested in is the point in the center. That's the location of the hole. So there we go. Got all our four holes in there. We've got our fillets done. And that's our little box, or at least the bottom of it anyway. So in the next uh, video, I'll start on a lid for this box. And I'll see how I go. I might uh, do the whole lid in, in one video. Um, and then in the video after that, uh, I'll show you how to make some screws. So I uh, hope you enjoyed this. hope you got something out of it. And I hope to see you next time. Thank you for watching.